There are billions of people who use Android devices and it is important to remember that not everyone interacts the same way. In Android, there are various accessibility features that help users to interact with the device easily and customize according to their preferences. In this episode, we will discuss how the users with different disabilities navigate and interact with the custom actions in an app using the accessibility features of Android. Custom actions are reached by mainstream audiences by long pressing on a UI element such as an image or icon in order to reach more actions which are not always visible on screen. Non-sighted users can use the TalkBack screen reader from built-in accessibility features to navigate and interact with the applications easily. With TalkBack enabled, users can either use gestures to navigate or by touch to explore. In Google Play, users can add the apps to their wish list by long pressing on a desired app and selecting add to wish list. Let's see how the TalkBack users can add apps to the wish list. Once the TalkBack focus is on the desired app, for example, play books, TalkBack announces double tap to activate and double tap and hold to long press. After performing double tap and hold, the custom menu opens and the users can swipe to add to wish list and double tap on it to add the app to their wish list. Users with limited upper body mobility can navigate to the apps and custom actions of apps using switch access. For switch access, users can assign volume buttons as switches. Other options also include assigning the camera switches and Bluetooth switches. Let's see how switch access users can access the custom actions for apps. Once the volume keys are assigned, press volume down key to move to the desired app once the switch access focuses on the desired app, let's say Playbooks again, press volume up key to bring the switch access action menu. With volume down key, move to touch and hold action and press volume up key to activate it and the custom menu appears. Now navigate to the menu with the volume down key and select remove from wishlist by selecting it with the volume up key. Users with limited vision would want to increase the size of the display and the text which will make it easier for them to read and interact with the applications. With Android display accessibility features, the users can increase the display size and the text to suit their needs. With magnification and display zoom features, low vision users can magnify the screen and adjust the display as per their preferences. Once the magnification feature is turned on, Users can drag the magnification window with two fingers and the screen will appear in a magnified view. Users can then select the desired app and all the custom actions associated with it by long pressing on an app. Android Accessibility also has a voice input hands-free feature called Voice Access that lets us control the device with our voice. Users can use voice commands to open apps, tap buttons, scroll, type and much more. Now let's look at how custom actions can be done with voice access. Users can say the command tap and hold on a desired app to reveal any custom actions that are associated with the app. For example, with voice access we can say tap and hold Google Play games to bring up the custom menu and by saying add to wishlist the app can be added to the wishlist. Okay, we have explored some of the ways users with different disabilities navigate and interact with custom actions in an app. Next up in this series, we will be looking at the Android pre-launch report and how developers can identify and fix accessibility issues. Thanks for watching.